when sort of hunger sort of came about, and I thought, okay, well, you know, this is kind of very sort of heavy material, you know, I mean, in terms of people are smearing excrement on the walls and, and starving themselves to death and, and, uh, for an hour and a half. I mean, in a land which learned when no one was listening, I try my best to tell you how I feel. Somehow I'm sure in this I believe in. This is real From my heart I sing to you when I'm hoping That you'll understand what I'm trying to say you Find a place inside of me and I'm grateful For each day A broken wing cannot stop me Across the sea. Right. Thank you, thank you for the world. Yeah, overwhelmed. Thank you. Thank you for the life you're making me see. Another section of the song comes later. I didn't want to go through the whole sort of uh, 
guitar bit. It goes on for quite a while. I wanted to be Tom Selleck. Never could grow the mustache, unfortunately. I, I love Tom Selleck. I, I, you know, I think you know, uh, he did such a great job on, on Magnum P.I. I, mean, you know, I don't think many men can carry off wearing those short shorts like that. You know. And you were rocking those mutton chops, I have to tell you. <laughs> Everyone's talking about the mutton chops. Maybe I can bring it in for like spring season. No. How important is, is the whole facial hair thing to you? Um, Very important. Yeah. In what way? Like, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I mean, it's not. I mean, Mile from the county fair, then the rain came pouring down. Me and Billy standing there with the silver half a crown. Hands are filled with fishing rods. And the tackle on the back and We just stood there getting wet With the back against the fence Oh, the water Oh, oh water Oh, the water Hope it don't rain down all day Thank you, Michael. Hi. Hi. Hey, I was wondering, you know, uh, you're great. Sam, do you think me handsome? No, sir. You're afraid of me? I'm not afraid. I could sort of gather a lot of information, really, sort of an air of sort of pomposity and uh, an arrogance and paranoia. Delios! Oh, 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 oh! So good to see you. Hey, guys, what's going on? Nice costumes. Did I, Leonidas, your king? Absolutely. Of course, you, you look kind of like him. The voice is... Uh... It's good. Have you been put under a spell by the immortals? No. Nope. Yeah, we have a little bit of rivalry. He's got a better plume. Well, I don't have a plume at all, actually, but uh, he's good at prancing around, you know, posing. Michael Fassbender and Dominic West have worked together three times now, including on period Peck's hit 300. So, who's stalking who? I can't get away from him. I don't know what it is. You know, I have a thing for Dominic, and that's out in the open now, I suppose. And he always waits looks for my next move, and then he seems to be there the next day. Never mind, I'm sure Mr. West will have his vengeance in this life or the next. Don't you just love the feeling when you know it's wrong, but you're going to do it anyway? Night has always pushed up day. You must know life to see decay, but I won't rot. I won't rot Not in this mind and not in this heart I won't rot She couldn't steal some Santana more And I took you by the hand And we stood tall This time you've been exposed, as you said yourself Absolutely, yeah It's good to have you It's great to be had Tell me, you're kept busy Are you yeah. shooting a movie at the moment with Hugh McGregor? Just starting, really. Um, yeah, it's a um, Soderbergh film, film here in Dublin. I'd like. say he's a good guy. Oh, really, you know, just a really nice sort of uh, down-to-earth sort of Scott. And, uh, you know, he likes his motorcycles and so do I, so we're chatting about that most of the time. Michael. I might sound like a bastard. But I have to repeat things and ask you over and over again. Now I talk to God directly. Tell me when, Lord. Deutschland, Deutschland. Herman! But it can feel a little dreary. It must have been half dream, half reality. I was not asleep. I know what I saw. Michael is incredible. He has this piercing strength that comes through just his eyes. Do you trust me? You are not to be trusted at all. And in that time, the ground that passes beneath its feet shall rightfully belong to him. I love horses, and uh, any, any chance to sort of get to do uh, horse riding, uh, I just sort of jump at it, really. 
Um, so that was fun. They let me they let me do the gallop and stuff like that, which is cool. I have a funny story that the director told me. Yeah. Every time you got on the horse, he got excited. <laughs> I know. I know. That I seem to have some sort of effect on the horse. I, I thought I was Superman when I was. <laughs> I still do. <laughs> no, uh, when I was like you know, uh, I don't know, whatever age it was, six, seven. I, you know, I thought that, you know, I could like hear a buzzing in my ear at night when I was in bed and I thought that was like the kryptonite sort of calling me to the sort of, you know, the garage. I never got up though, I was too lazy. But Very well destroy the kingdom of Albion. <laughs> Just like that poster. The shambles! <laughs> what movie scared me the most? Jaws. But I remember when it came out, again, it's like, uh, you know, my mother, I sound like such a mommy's boy. I'm like, my mother. <laughs> Uh, you know, but she was like, "Don't watch it." She was like, "You're gonna, you know, you're gonna have nightmares." And I was like, "I was like, no, 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 I want to watch it." And my grandmother was like, "Let him watch it; he'll be fine." <laughs> and of course, that night I was like lying in bed. There was no water near me, but I was like, I was really upset. And this is neither the beginning nor the end of my story. Swept away. And if I promised you. 